What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? No, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What's going on, YouTube? This is Dark Light Dreamer coming into another Let's Play and welcome to Dread Halls VR. Now, this is a horror exploration game in which you're trapped in an underground labyrinth and your objective is to escape from this labyrinth. But the thing is, every time you play this game, the levels are randomly generated and from what I understand, the monsters will scare the absolute shit out of you. I know a lot of big YouTubers have played this game and they all got the shit scared out of them. It's supposed to be a really intense experience. So let's just jump right into it and see what this game is all about together. Looking forward to not looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I did just try this game out a little bit. I haven't really gotten very far. So let's go ahead and start all over. This game is an intense horror experience featuring scenes of disturbing nature. Player discretion is advised. It is not from the faint of heart from what I understand. Let's see. X is interactor open. Square light. Triangle inventory. Got you. R2 sprint. L1 lockpick. Sure. All right. I think I have the basic idea. Let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, sorry about that obscenely long loading screen, but here we are. Now, if you look down at the map, it actually brings the map up so you can see it. That's a neat little mechanic. And we just move around with the stick. What is this? A handwritten note. Press X to read it. I can't wait for you. Not anymore. Not here. There's an exit. The stone face told me. The stone face. Okay. I'll be there. I'll wait for you there. Follow my trail. Find the eyes find the exit. Why am I finding eyes? That seems a little bit odd. What is this? A bottle of oil. You can use it to fuel your lamp. Press X to collect it. All right. Limited oil. Kind of reminds me of amnesia in that sense. So how did I end up here? I guess I slept on that bed. Was I captured for some reason? Hold X to force open the lock. Kick in the door. Boom. And this game is actually really, really immersive. I don't know if you guys can tell from, from the way you're seeing it, but when you're playing it in VR, you really feel like you're there. It's very immersive. You can customize rotation speed and enable comfort mode from the options menu. Nah, I'm good. I'm good with this. What is this? Vasi's Das! Awesome. Uh, coinage? A coin from a past era. Plus, press X to collect it. I guess that's going to be important somehow. These look like lockpicks. You can always brute force locks, but using these locks picks should be faster. That makes total sense. Press X to collect them. Why would taking your time to pick a lock be faster than just kicking in a door? Not really sure. It is dark and spoopy in here, Jesus. Okay. Square turns the light on and off. Cool. Press L1 to use your lock pick. Okay. Now hold X to finish unlocking. Okay, that makes sense. Boom. Because it basically just adds to your progress bar. Got more lantern oil, two more lock picks. All right, cool. Moving on. Where are all the other prisoners? That's a good question. What happened to them? Okay. I love that I have a map, so that way I can see where I have and have not been. Just until, wait until the arrows are aligned, then use your lock pick. All right, cool. Uh, abushki, go. Yay! All right, that was pretty easy. Coins. Money! At first I was confused. My head throbbed and I felt nauseous. It took me a long time to unlock my cell's door. But the other cells were empty. But I heard... The other cells were empty, but I heard strange noises coming from the corridors. It sounded like someone whispering. Ah! I don't want it, guys. I'm actually... I've been actually dreading playing this game. Use the oil in your inventory to fuel your lamp. Hold triangle to open the inventory. Look at the oil bottle, then release the bouton. Uh, boop. All right, cool. Yay. Uh, should I be conserving? The thing is, I'm going to be using my lantern more than I would if I were just playing this by myself, because... Oh, shit! Hi! Hi, how you doing? I'm just going to chill out right here. Because I want to make sure that you guys can see, basically. Where are you going? What did you just do? Okay. It was nice to meet you. All right, let's go ahead and close that. What is up with this, with the things? Okay, looks like a receptacle for something. But for what? Am I gonna have to find something around here to put on the pedestal? See, there's a path there that's closed. Grab that oil. Hi, Miss Stony Face person. How you? Oh shit! Hi. I kind of was not expecting that. You have five old coins. Do you wish to pay the price? Uh, sure. Uh, is this what the coins are for? Ask about this room, how you got here, about this place. Uh, let's ask about... The... 
ask about this place. A sanctuary, a safe haven for the pillars to keep them hidden and protected from the outside world. What pillars? That's a good question. Pillars for what? I guess once you ask her a question, it closes up. Okay. I guess the coins are for knowledge or something. All right, moving on. What is down here? Let's go ahead and use the lantern. It's dark as fuck in here. Oh, I've actually been really nervous to play this game because I heard it was really fucking scary. And <laughs> I think it actually made a couple YouTubers cry. So I've... What the fuck was that? Is that just me? Am I scaring myself, basically? Ugh, it's so dark in here. Like, I would be okay with sneaking around here in the dark, but I don't want you guys to be not able to see. All right, we got our first eye already. And more lantern oil, which is going to be important. Look at that. Uh, the human eye. Find the eyes. Press X to collect it. The eyes have it! Okay. Um, I don't know what that did. I kind of don't want to know. Let's go ahead and turn my lantern off for now. I don't want to waste too much, and it's kind of okay at the moment. It looks like I actually do have a little bit of, like, radial light. So, it should be okay, even if I wander around in the darkness. You guys can see a little bit. Uh, R2 to sprint, right? Should I be saving my sprint? Okay, no. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Hold X to press to place the item. Actually, let me get out this lantern oil real quick. Can I read any of these books? Are they important in any way? Nope. Okay. There's a letter there. Can I read it? Alright, I can't actually figure out a way to read that letter, so we're gonna move on. Is there anything in this well? Maybe, possibly? No? What is that noise? I don't want to know. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on the receptacle. I have to hold it to place the item. Alright, one door unlocked. Nice. I guess I'm supposed to go that way. Alright, we're moving on. Down the creepy hallway. I'm assuming this is when shit's about to go down. So far, it's been really, really kind to me. Everything has been very nice and has not tried to kill me. But it probably just gets worse from here. Alright guys, sorry about that loading screen. There must be another eye further inside. Let's move on! But where was the way- where'd the way back go? Did I just, like, somehow teleport here? Let's go ahead and just kick down the door the normal way. Save our lockpicks for a, an emergency situation. Alright. It's a little bit more red-tinted than before. Hi. Oh, is it, that's another chest? Can I do anything with it? No? I can't unlock the chest? Oh. Okay. Okay. What is that sound? Stop creeping me out with the sounds, man! Alright. Go ahead and just kick it down the normal way. No need to use the lockpick right now. We're not exactly in a tense situation. It'll be fine. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody gonna try to kill me? No? We're good? Alright. Down the hall. Um, I don't know how I ended up here, but... I sure would like to know how to get out. What's in here? Are all the doors in this freaking labyrinth locked? Every single one? I guess. Oh, hi. How you doing? Um, you look like you had a bad day. For real, for real. And that guy had an even worse day, I imagine. What the fuck is that? I'm not even about to fuck with you. Let's just go ahead and... Can I close it? Thank you. You keep your damn smoke to yourself. Alright, moving on. To the left. To the left. I imagine. I hope the smoke doesn't come after me and try to murder me. What is that? I escaped when one of them came after me. Those abominations made of vile, twisted flesh. The flesh of other travelers just like me. I wonder if it came after me because it used to know me. Better not think about that. That's weird. Flesh of his friend created some kind of abomination. Alright, ooh, money. Boop, boop, boop. G give me that money, please. Can I, can I please? How do I crouch? Can I not crouch? I can't grab that money. It won't let me, it seems. There we go. Alright. Moving on. This is a fancy-ass door. So, I'm basically assuming I'm gonna have to run from some kind of, like, fleshy monster thingy. Why does the door have, like, it looks like studs that, like, remind me of a bunch of eyes, unfortunately. 
Uh, should I have gone the other way to investigate? Maybe I should go the other way to investigate first. All right. Well, I'll meet you guys back further down the hall. Oh, shit. What is going on? What is happening? Uh, hi. Is my lantern going out? Do I need to refuel my lantern? Okay, cool. No, we're good. We're good. That was just the lantern going out. We're fine. That scared the shit out of me, not gonna lie. Alright, um, let's try to be a little bit more conservative about my lantern oil. What is this? Oh, it's another one of the thingies. Hi, how you doing? Speak now. You have ten old coins. Yeah, sure, I'll pay two coins. Uh, about who she is, with only one- why only one question about the builder? Let's go ahead and add, ask who we she are is. Beholders. We are listeners. We hold the memories of this place alive in the absence of our creators. Gotcha, fam. We watch, and we remember. Okay, do you remember how the, the way out, maybe? Alright, one question. I got you. Alright, moving on. What's in here? More lockpicks. And lantern oil. Kind of glad I checked. Be careful. You shouldn't look at- Oh, shit! Hi! No, no, we're not gonna look at her. We are gonna go this way. Fuck that. Oh, there's another thingy. Uh, go ahead and ask a question. We demand payment. Uh, let's go ahead and, real quick, uh, ask about the coins, about the outside world, about the builders. Uh, let's ask about the coins. Tokens of devotion. Wisdom is not free. Those who seek answers must prove themselves worthy. I got you, fam. Alright. Cool. Let's move on. There aren't any really good questions, it seems. Uh, have I been this way? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. What's over this way? Another studded door. Somewhere important, maybe? More lamp. Oh, shit! Hi! How you doing? Please don't kill me. I'm assuming that is basically a warning to tell me that there's danger in this room somewhere. Lots of lantern oil, though. Uh, okay, I don't see anything yet. Give me all that money. I really appreciate it. There's a note to Sid. He was the one who told me about the Forgotten and this place. He didn't want to come, not at first, but I convinced him. I wanted to see it. I needed to. What is the Forgotten? And what the fuck was that sound? That don't... Oh! Fucking shit! Okay. Um. I'm just gonna stay right here. Go fuck yourself. Can I sneak? Is there a way to sneak? Shit. Okay. So it basically manifests if I get close to it, it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna go the opposite way. It'll be fine. Everything is gonna be fine. Let's go ahead and try to grab this shit while we're here, though. Grab that, grab that. Oh shit, it's right the fuck there. Right the fuck there. We're gonna go the other way. Fuck you. Let's go ahead and just close the store. We don't really need to be in there. It's fine. Alright, let's go the opposite way. Man, it's getting creepy in here. Like, it was... It was okay at first. It was fine. It was like a nice leisurely stroll through a labyrinth. And now all of a sudden it's getting extra super creepy. Alright. We need to go to the right over here somehow. Really, really appreciate the map. As you guys know, I get lost really, really easily, and I know I mentioned this in, like, every episode, but I just don't want you guys to be surprised when I'm wandering around aimlessly trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go, because this is just a thing. This is the thing we go through. Alright, uh, we can go either one of these ways. Hello? Any more witches or shadow monsters? Fuck. I suppose so. That, was that a confirmation? Little tight corridor here. Oh shit! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Do you not want me to open this door? Is this a bad door? Oh shit! Hi! No, 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 no! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! I'm running. Running time, 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 running time. Why is the music so intense? Is she still after me? I don't even fucking know. 
Oh, shit. It was still after me. It's right the fuck there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I got into the door on time. Shit. Okay, I kind of got lost on my way out. Alright, let's just go ahead and investigate more carefully now. This way? Alright. This Is this the room I was just looking at a minute ago? I don't know. Alright, what's in here? Nothing? I was really hoping for an eye so I can get the fuck out of here, but I guess not. Alright, let's just carefully proceed to the left here. And we'll go northwest. Northwest! Travel northwest! Up this corridor we have not been to. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Why? Why you do this? What is that sound? I don't want to know. Okay, go north or west? Let's go, let's just try going north first. Towards the, the terrible sounds. That's where I want to go. There's a well. Hi. Uh, little nooks and crannies here. I don't see any items or anything that'll be useful. What is the, the grudge sound? Ah, uh, This game is going to give me a heart attack. Uh, anything over here? No? There's another guardian. Or another face. Let's go ahead and give her a give her a chatty chat. What's up? Why How do I get out of here? Us? Play three coins. Uh, why only one question about the pillars? How you got here? Let's ask how you got here. What are you doing? By the shadows, enthralled by them. It was you who stepped into the darkness. It was you who chose to be bound by it. You are nothing but their pawn. All right, Vagy McVagerson. I wish I could say that I, I see what you're saying, but I really don't. I got here through mysterious reasons. All right. Oh shit, what is that sound? Fuck. All right, through this door, maybe? Possibly? No. Anybody home? Oh shit! Hi! Hi! No! Fuck you! Man, I was right the fuck behind that door! I think I'm gonna go the other way. How about that? How about that? Catch me the other way. How about that? Alright, let's let's just run. Let's run. Fuck, fuck that guy. Oh man, I went, I went the way that I did not mean to go. Alright, let's try going the opposite direction. Down this corridor. So far, there are no signs of any eyeballs. But I think that's that's my objective, basically, is to find some eyeballs. I think I'm doing pretty good so far, you know, conserving my, my lantern oil. So far, it, does the, do, are the shadow creatures hurt by the light, maybe? It would be a good thing to know. Alright, cool. Room with stuff in it. I can appreciate that. I'd much rather there be a room with stuff in it and not monsters. I didn't believe in, in the shadow folk. None of us did. Even in those cases when I caught a glimpse of one, a shadow moving in my peripheral vision, it was easier to think nothing of it, pretended it was just my imagination. Alright. Okay, well, obviously... No, 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 no. Super note. Fuck that and everything you stand for. Alright. Oh, and you get tired. I didn't realize you get tired when you sprint. That's unfortunate. Alright, I think I did get a little bit of distance on that guy. Alright, so, so far... Oh! What are you? How you doing? Is there anything I can do with you? No? Are you gonna eat my face off? That's nice. Alright. So there's a gargoyle. Let's, let's just go ahead and see if I can get in that door down the end of the hall. Gotta say, guys, the feeling of entrapment and isolation is pretty pretty intense in this game. They do a pretty good job of that. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this coin. I could swear that there was something evil in this place 
pretty recently. Oh shit, my lantern light is going out. Ah, it's okay, I have 11 of them. I'm doing a pretty good job of conserving lantern oil. Alright, let's try not to die. It seems like whenever you encounter a monster, if you run away, it will eventually go the fuck away. I think there's something evil beyond this door. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I haven't used any lockpicks either. Oh, there's an eyeball. Sweet. Yay! I win! Go into the... The white door of light. The smeg door. Alright. Sweet! That's two! Oh! Whew. Alright, we made it! Yeah! Alright, moving on. Let's see. Down this corridor. Level 3! Oh my god. Alright guys, we've loaded into the next area, so let's continue. Uh, we're gonna go try to get this one, one more eyeball before the end of the episode. I don't want to make it too, too long. We might get an eyeball. This episode, not entirely sure. Fuck. And it's probably just going to be worse from here. The feeling of confinement and entrapment is real in this. I mean, the walls, they look like they're getting getting larger. Like, the, the space is getting a little bit wider, but at the same time, it feels suffocating. Uh, oh shit, nope. Hi, how you doing? Fuck that chick. Uh, why did I answer? Uh, why did I wake up alone? I, st I have no answer. My head still hurts, so perhaps I stayed unconscious for too long. But they would have waited for me. That is, unless they couldn't stay there any longer. Let's go ahead and read that without looking at that chick, because fuck her. I found Irvin, or what remains of him, which what, which isn't much. I re no reason to feel sorrow, though. He was he knew as well as any of us what we were getting into. All right, well, need to get past that chick and not look at her, because fuck her. If I have my lantern off, I'm less tempted to look in her direction. All right, we're good. Alright. Other end of the hall, then. Man. The, the witch chicks creep me out more than the shadow things. The shadow things are fine. I mean, they don't creep me out so much, but the witch chicks, like, standing there, that scares the shit out of me. Fucking ghosts. Alright. Long, dark corridors. Yay. My favorite. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Nope, 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 nope. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you and everything you fucking stand for. No, 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 I'm not a sprout it! <sighs> did I just fucking die? A creature killed you. This creature is fast. Remember to hold right trigger. I did! I did hold right trigger to sprint. I just, I ran out of gas. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even see what the creature was. I just saw black eyeballs. All right, guys, and we are back. And it appears that every time you die, the dungeon like randomly generates as well. We demand payment. Uh, sure, I'll, be, I'll give you four coins. Ask about the exit. Where's the exit? The only exit is through the pillars. They will take you where you wish to go if you step between them. Okay, so basically I need to find the four eyeballs and then step in the middle of the circle and it'll teleport me out. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Left. Right. Alright, let's go this way. Fine. Man, this is a narrow ass corridor. Okay, I should I shouldn't be sprinting. I should need to, I need to conserve my running power. Kick it in the dirt. No, no. How about how about no? How about no? How about no? Go fuck yourself. All right. May, maybe if I run away for a moment and then go back. Oh, man, I really don't know how to deal with those those doors. Also, I'm running out of lantern oil. I think. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Did you just try to murder me? What if I what if I try to run past you? Is it fine? Is it fine? Are you gonna kill me? Shit. Shit shit shit. Okay, let's go, let's go. Fuck you. Alright. Cool. We got past him. Alright. That was a little bit tense of a situation, but it's fine. I don't think he noticed us. He's very unobservant, it seems. Alright, what's down this hall? Anything? Anybody trying to kill me? 
Any more, like, glowing eyes in the darkness? Another scroll. Lantern oil, which we need to need. Cool. Lock picks, which I just used one, so it's nice to see. More of them. Why are you making noise, brah? I saw one, one of them, the shadow folk. It was standing in the corner looking at me with its yellow eyes. Its shape moved and shifted, but it vanished before I could get closer. They are real. Cool. Um, not sure how I'm supposed to handle them. Or what I'm supposed to do when I see them. I was free. I was in a forest. A light, refreshing rain was falling. I could hear birds. Did it really happen? Was it a tree? Might have been, bro. There certainly ain't no birds down here. Oh, hi. There's another shadow dude over there. Maybe if I just sneak past it in the dark? Or just wait for it to disappear? Okay, I got you. It goes away on its own, it seems. After a minute or two. Alright. Turn left at the end of the hall. But we'll be in a new corridor. Okay. This way? Go in this little room. See what's up. Hello! Just a tiny little room with nothing in it. Okay. Waste of time. Okay, let me read that, thank you. I'm unsure whether to trust what the stone faces tell me. They always seem honest, but I must remember they are a creation of the forgotten. They still serve them. I must be careful. Uh, walking along the corridors, I can hear my footsteps, my breathing, but also something else. A scraping sound coming from the darkness behind me. It ceased when I stopped to look around, but now I can hear it again. That's weird. Alright, give me that. Give me that lockpick. Give it to me, thank you. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky. Oh shit! No, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh man, that was so fucking creepy. Hi, how you doing? I don't know where I'm running to. <gasps> oh my god! I found the third one! I just randomly... <laughs> I randomly ran into a room and found the eyeball I needed. Awesome. Alright, we might finish this game today, actually. Alright, cool. Where are you heading, headed now? I just need to get one more eyeball. Oh my god, victory is so in sight right now. I'm excited. I'm so freaking excited at the moment. <sighs> of course... <laughs> Then that excitement is quickly shot down by the idea that this is going to be the hardest part of the fucking game. Ugh. Excited but scared at the same time. Alright, left? Left, we good? Are we going to make it out? Right. Oh, steel door. That's nice. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I got places to go. What is this room? Big giant open room. Oh, give me that oil, please. Thank you. What is this? This is a really nice room. Is this room gonna be my doom or my salvation? Uh, there's another scroll over there. More lantern oil. I can definitely take any lantern oil I can find. Give it that. Give it to me, please. Give it to. Give it to me, please. Thank you. Yeah. No, I don't want to look at the map. I want to get the damn. What the fuck? There's the fleshy creature. Okay. Let me read that. Let me read that. Let me read it. Let me read it! Thank you. Uh, when you were, we were younger, we used to go hunting for ghosts at Rowley House. Our steps echoed in the empty corridors, and the wooden floor would creak and send shivers through our spines. But soon, it, it got boring. It wasn't enough. Okay, so I gotta wander around this room avoiding that creature. And trying to get this damn lock picked. You know what? Fuck it. I have plenty. Okay, I'm breathing really fucking loud right now. Kind of, it's kind of an issue. Where is the creature? It would be nice to know where the fuck it is. Uh, I fell asleep, but I don't know for how long, but my lamp started running out of oil by the time I woke up. It was all dark, the air felt thick and heavy. I relit my lamp quickly, but in my haste I broke an oil bottle, burning my hands. Interesting. Alright. Is that important somehow? Is any of this important? Not really sure. Remember that is this what I wanted uh, when I decided to come here. This this is a horrible place, and yet I always knew it would be. Why am I here then? How did I get here? 
Uh, tell me your secrets. How you the one? Oh, four coins. Everything's getting more expensive. About the builders, about the corpses. Other wanderers just like you, judged unworthy, devoured by the shadows. So they died down here. Thank you for not really answering my question. How you doing? Speak now. Uh, sure. I'll pay four coins. Uh, where were you, where you were before? Why you are? Why am I here? To prove your worth, to satisfy your curiosity, or to be forgotten here, like many others before. So what happens if I'm proven worthy? What am I going to be proven worthy of? And what is that? I wish I knew. I'm guessing flesh creature like walked away. I was never scared of small places, but the walls of these narrow corridors seem to surround me at all times. I feel confined, entombed. It's difficult to breathe. It's funny because I was just saying that a minute ago. Alright, is there nothing else in here that's that's worth my time? Just a flesh monster. Oh, there's another lantern oil thing here. Grab that. Alright, that's where I came in. So, let's just move on. I don't know where to. But we'll move on somewhere this away in one of these rooms uh, to the right to the right to the right to the left have I been here or did the flesh monster come in here and that's why it's open okay there's nothing in here except a chair a random chair good to know oh what is that fleshy sound is it wandering this whole labyrinth is that the tell as to where it is? Is when you hear the squonky sounds? Left. All right, let's try. Let's let's see what's behind door number one. Oh my god! I already found it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, lucky! I got so lucky. All right. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Four eyeballs. It's my birthday. Alright, now what? Now what? Now what? Through that down there? Why down there? No, no, I I found I found the eyeballs though. Like that's that's what I did. I found eyeballs. I'm finished. You I mean I I, I, I did the thing. I thought I was supposed to do the thing. I'm not done. <laughs> I thought that I was done. Alright, maybe this is the last level then. Alright, sorry about that guys. Alright, moving on. Why was this why was this blocked off? Why was it blocked off? I don't want it to be blocked off. That scared the shit out of me. Alright. Okay. Let's get to this door. But where do I go? Do I have to get four more of the eyeballs? Thought I was done. All right, here we go. What is in here? More pillars? Uh, am I gonna have to find? Okay, it looks like I need to find three more eyeballs total. Maybe. Oh, lovely. It's like a whole new section. The stone here is colder, sharper. I think I'm getting closer to the pillars. I can hear their call. All right, so basically, I just finished the first segment of this game. Alright guys, it looks like there's actually a lot more to this game than I thought there was. I don't want this video to run too, too long. If you guys want me to, I'll do another episode of Dread Halls to see if I can find the other eyeballs and maybe get the fuck out of this labyrinth and find the pillars. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So far, it wasn't too, too intense, but it was pretty freaking scary. If you did, please do me a huge favor and share this video with your friends. It really, truly helps me out a lot getting that exposure. If you ever drop some comments too, let's talk about this game. I love hearing from you guys. I just love chatting with you guys. It really and truly makes my day. And if you haven't the subscribe button yet you guys know that i'd love to have you guys as a member of the darklight family and they'll continue this creepy ass turn together again very very soon and until then mirror dreams like your darkest hour and i'll see you next time